Alpine. They set to go and sprinting away from the 1160 meter marker it was a good enough beginning storm player slightly sluggish to get on with things in the early stages one fell swoop shows the early pace ahead of mythical dream simple simple and forever in my dreams all there with storm player improving the Lean and Miss Hannigan. In the beginning, races further back with Lucy in the sky and Berengaria gives that leader 6 7 lend start as well. One fell swoop heading down to the last 700 meters with Forever in My Dreams across the inside. They're the two leaders. Mythical Dream Storm play and Simple Simple behind that in the beginning. Further back to Chrome Tourmaline. They followed by Miss Hannigan, Lucy in the sky and Berengaria. Into the last 500 meters now and in front is still one fell swoop from Forever in My Dreams. In the beginning is on the far inside. Mythical Dream, then Storm Player. Behind that, Chrome Tourmaline. 200 meters left to go. It's still one fell swoop who still continues to run here. Mythical Dream is towards the outside. Chrome Tourmaline is finding a finish. One fell swoop there from Chrome Tourmaline. One fell swoop. Chrome Tourmaline. Here it comes. One fell swoop, maybe, from Chrome Tourmaline. Third to Mythical Dream, tight for fourth. As a look at the head-on replay, one fell swoop just keeps going. I completely agree with the guys downstairs. Absolute picture in the ring. She looks an absolute good thing in the ring um, in terms of her well-being. And she did it the hard way, start to finish her. Chrome Tourmaline just gets nudged out a short head. Top right, Calv Habib. One fell swoop is the daughter of Lancaster Bomber for the Tony Peters stable. The colours of Suzette Fulion, bred by the Fastfontaine Stone. And fell swoop, who's now won three races here in Johannesburg out of only four starts. One fell swoop edges out Chrome Tourmaline in race seven. Well, this looked fantastic in the parading. It really did, eh, Cal? Yes, 100%. She looked beautiful, and um, yeah, she gave me a lot of confidence going to the start. So it was a really game win from this filly. Um, you know, she, she she hit the front quite, or she was in front most of the way, but she pulled the pull clear and she was just looking for the company. And you know, I changed my stick late. And I thought that's sort of just what kept her mind on the job. But um, what a what a win from her. Well done to Tony and to his whole team. Honored to be aboard these horses. And um, yeah, I just so happy our partnerships. Uh, you know, growing from strength to strength. And to Uncle Barcy and Auntie Suzette. Uh, you know, I can't keep on praising them enough because uh, without them, what would we be? We, we wouldn't be here today. You know, they, they provide us with all the horses, uh, you know, majority of the horses in the stable, and um, they're just lovely people to add on to that. So uh, we are, we are we're truly blessed to be part of, uh, to have them part of our team. Cool, calm, collective, all the way up to the last couple of hundred, and you had a challenger, obviously. A short head's never easy, but you won it. You, you knew you won it, eh? Yes, look, I thought, you know, she never stopped on me, and... Um, she, she put her head down at the line where, where it mattered. So, you know, as I say, full credit to the filly. She tried really hard and, um, yeah, I was just really proud of her today. Well done, Cal. And uh, next one? Yes, look, he won. He's made him uh, really well. And um, I thought uh, he's also that's progressive. He can go on with it. Obviously, he's got a big mass to carry. But um, being 1160, you know, he possibly could get away with it. And uh, I think, you know, he's in good order. I worked him in the week and I'm, I'm very happy with him. Fantastic, Calvin. Keep it up. Thank you. Excellent. Calvin Abbott riding the crest of a wave at the moment. And so is this man, Tony. Gee, Tony, this, you had this looking outstanding. This is what, three from four with you now? Yeah, I think she's a beautiful filly. She's nice and scopey. Uh, I thought she won a brave race today. And uh, please God, she can go on from you. Travelled beautifully uh, in the race. Uh, what did you think? A couple of hundred from home, you knew you had it, or you, were you worried at all? Yeah, you know, I think she's a better filly around the turn. Um, she she likes to lug inwards, and today she's looking for company. Uh, there's a few anxious moments uh, for three, four hundred, but uh, she's an honest filly, and she kicked on well. And uh, just happy for Uncle Barcy and Auntie Suzette. They are having a good run at the moment, and please God, it can continue. Very good people and very staunch. Uh, owners to my yard. Um, well done to Calvin. It was a, a very strong ride from him. And Vast Vincent's done well done to them. Yes, excellent tone. And just now the next one, uh, Calvin sounded fairly bullish. What do you think, Edward? Yeah, he must have a chance. He's got a heavy mass to carry. He's running with hard knocking horses. But uh, you can only like him the way he won his maiden. And please God, he's come on from that and he can give a bold uh, account of himself. I like your hat. What's happening with that horse? Yeah, he's doing well. Um, 
Is he um, coming out? When's he coming out? Tom, what have you got planned for him? Sometime in Jan, he'll come out. There's a few nice races for him, so we'll just have a chat to the owners and see what they think. But he's doing well. Uh, he's doing well, and I'm happy with him. Fantastic. Tiny Peter, thank you so much. And then just to Hopes and Jim Stud, my sponsors, well done to them. And Senzo, the crew, well done. To Senzo, them. congratulations, Senzo. Come in, you show up. You're looking so smart today. Well done, Senzo. Well done, sir. Very, very nice one, eh? Very nice. Excellent. There's the, you can take a photo. There we go. And that takes care. Joe, you want to have a quick word? Or you're right? You're okay. All right. We're all in good order. The Tiny Peter's uh, stable have fired the seventh. They intend on firing in the eighth.